I'm part of a work team that's responsible for uh, five or six classrooms, as well as a hallway. And we've been tearing out a, an old closet, which is why I've got dirt head to toe. This is St. Boniface. It was a church and a convent, and it is being turned into a community center. It's got several adjacent structures, and we've got volunteers spread throughout trying to help clean it up and improve its appearance. Okay, well, for the people of Norris Square, uh, St. Boniface means a lot to them. Many have been married here, many have been uh, baptized here, many have been born here, many have been buried here. It closed in 2006, and basically what it meant to the parishioners, the, which is a predominantly Hispanic, was that there was no community gathering area, no place for you know their uh, health, mental health and spiritual health, if you will. So this is just kind of continue to allow the faith to remain in the community without taking it abroad, without it disappearing like many places do. I think that that's sort of unique to have a school like Temple embrace their urban roots and get people involved in the community and giving back. It's so easy to get sucked up in law school and your classes and passing them and you know getting the good grades and the good rank that you can forget that there's a community of people that we'll be serving once we're lawyers. If this is an opportunity for future generations of lawyers to get a head start on being good people instead of just good lawyers, uh, then, you know, I'm all for it. VG, are you there? I'm going to wait a little bit longer. Okay, thank you. So let's go. We looked at this as a team building enterprise for the law school, so we involved both our students and our staff and our administrators in a joint project, which we've never before done. And I think for all the good I hope we do here today, I think we're going to take something back to the law school that's very special.